Hi, I'm Daniel Fisher here at Sweetwater Sound. We're in conference hall number one. We're here with Aaron Higgins of 1010 Music. He's got some really cool new modules to show us, as well as some features on the older modules that be can be gained with a software update. Aaron? Thanks, Daniel. Our company has been really focused on making touchscreen modules, trying to take all the best ideas from plugins and from iOS apps and putting that into the modular world. So in terms of new products, we've got a laser box, which we'll show you a little bit later. We've got a, an update to effects box and some other new miscellaneous modules along the way. Yeah, so one of the things that got me really interested in these modules is that a simple change of a micro SD card will change BitBox into SynthBox into EffectsBox. So if I've only got 26 HP left, that is a lot of power to put into one box. That's right. You can take BitBox, which is our sampler and looper, or SynthBox, our polyphonic synthesizer, and EffectsBox, and buy any one of those modules and switch back and forth. You just take one of these adapters to your computer, put the micro SD card, which we supply into it, and copy a file from our website onto the device, and a simple 15-second power-up sequence puts you into another firmware, and it can be a totally different thing in a matter of minutes. That, that makes the box very economical. Right. As you pointed out, there's 26 HP, which can do three major functions. When you get bored or when you just get uninspired, you have the chance to do different things. So show me one of the modules. Sure. BitBox is our 24-bit sampler. It does sampling three different ways. You can play one-shots, you can play long loops in clip form, and you can do slicing. I'll show you quickly how that works from the touchscreen. That's the, one of the ways you can trigger the samples. You can also trigger these samples from the gate inputs. So each one of the gates corresponds to one of the samples. Lastly, you can do it via MIDI. So when you say long samples, what are we talking about? I'm talking about samples that are minutes or hours in length. Wow. Some of our test files are the entire soundtrack of Blade Runner because you're streaming the audio from the SD card and can get that kind of length out of it. And we're talking true stereo, high fidelity? Yes. 24-bit, you can use 32-bit samples. Everything's being done in 24-bit audio, but yes, as high as you want to go, and it supports mono or stereo, we'll map that to a stereo output. And so if you had this in the middle of your Eurorack, so you could, you could record what you're doing on your whole Eurorack and then play over that. That's right. You could capture it in stereo, and you could capture it on the fly. It's got clocking features, which lets you truncate the loops as you go and not have to worry about starting and stopping at the right time. So what are the things you can do? Like tune it, you can change volume. Absolutely. Tune, volume, panning, output adjustment. You've got four different outputs and you can go to each one individually or to them as stereo pairs. And then, so you were saying uh, the grid, so like you could have 16 of these and these 16 jacks represent the triggering of those 16 samples. That's right, which is great for one shots. Wow. So I'm guessing you could also bring in samples via the SD card just from your computer, right? Absolutely. It supports micro SD cards up to 32 gigabytes, so just take it over your computer and load it up with folders and folders of WAV files. What else you got? Next, let me show you Synthbox. That's probably best demonstrated with you playing on the keyboard. It's a four-note polyphonic synthesizer. Each note has two wavetable oscillators and a sub-oscillator, so it can sound very rich with all the number of internal modulators and the ability to take CV and further modulate it if you like. And you, you said wavetable, so I can also be sweeping through the waves? That's right. You'll notice it as you try the mod wheel and start playing different notes that it really has some depth to it. And I'm seeing the word filter and filter. Two filters? Yes, two filters per voice, so a total of eight. Wow. Either can be low pass or high pass, and modulating those is lots of fun. And then what else we got here? It's got built-in delay, built-in flanger and distortion, along with two envelopes, two LFOs, and a CV sequencer. How many steps? 16. Ah. And then uh, what are you triggering with the 16 inputs here? I get how it would work with MIDI, but what are you doing with control voltages? Here, think of these as four different rows, each of which affects one voice. If you're doing that in analog, you'll have a pitch and gate signal and then three assignable external ends. Cool. And then a translates into four outputs, one per voice, if you like, or a stereo mix down. Okay, so if I start jamming on the keys, you want to just rotate Absolutely. through some of the sounds? All right. So what's my first sound here? This is a lead. It's mm -hmm. a PPG emulation. Okay.
velocity sensitive. That's nice. Like how it sounds so good in every octave. Like it's not like there's a certain octave that just like eh, it doesn't sound as good there. It's like it's a great sound down below and very cool. Show me another. Glad you like it. For this last part, I'm going to turn on sync so that all the sequencers are running together. Okay. Key trigger off, take it away. Show me another box. Sure. This is effects box. It is our multi effects unit. You have two different chains of up to 32 different effects. Two ins, four outs, and you can sequence each of the, these effects as well as modulate them with external ins. And so, uh, this, so in this case, the 16 inputs are doing what? In this case, the 16 inputs are just enabling or disabling these different effects. You can do the same thing internally with a sequencer, which is shown here. Wow, so I, can, so I can turn effects on and off internally, and I can use any other of my Eurorack modules or sequencers to trigger the effects as well. That's right, and you can also use external CVs to modulate parameters like filter cutoff and resonance and those kinds of things. Wow. Show me something. Sure. Let me show you how Effectsbox works with a multi-module demo. First, here's Toolbox doing some sequencing. We'll talk about that in a second. Bitbox will play the samples, and Effectsbox will add some processing. I'll begin by playing the effects one by one.
So now that we've seen singly, I'm, I'm assuming you can play them in any combination you want, all at once, all off at once? Absolutely. Let me show you some presets that show that off. Wow. So how many different effects can you have? There's 16 different algorithms. And then how many of uh, presets of all these stored with their sequences? Can we you supply have? 50 different presets, but you can create your own virtually unlimited number of presets. Limited only by the size of your SD That's card. That's right, right, and they're tiny, so <laughs> wow. lots and lots. Wow. All right, now Toolbox. Toolbox is our sequencer and function generator. You've got two different ways to sequence. You can do gate sequencing, like you've seen on the effects box, touch different squares to add different steps. Each of these has up to 64 steps and parameters to change the step size and count. The next way is to use a note sequencer. This is piano roll style like you might see on a DAW. You can record this in from a MIDI keyboard, load MIDI files, and edit or even enter it from the touchscreen if you prefer. Ah. Okay, so I get that it's a sequencer, but it says toolbox. What, so what else can it do? It does three other things. It does LFOs, it does CV sequencers, and it does a little bit of sampling. I'll start with the LFOs. You've got a variety of waveforms and standard controls with the ability to modulate these from either internal or external sources. We also have beat sync telephones. Next, you've got a CV sequencer, up to 64 steps of CV control that you can do with the touchscreen. Lastly, it does some very basic sampling taken from Bitbox that allows you to sample CV signals like LFOs and envelopes and change the timing. So you can record real-time control voltages from something else and then save that as a recording that will play that CV pattern back at you. That's right. On cue. Absolutely. Wow. And that was the inspiration for Laserbox. Laserbox is an alternate firmware for Toolbox. It's something you can load with a micro SD card just like we discussed before. Laserbox has what you need for vector art. It's got XY signals and red, green, blue outputs using the analog outs from the Toolbox. You'll need a third-party interface to connect this to a laser, and you can buy a cool laser for about a thousand bucks. So for just a few hundred dollars here, a thousand dollars there, you can do your own laser show and generate cool patterns like this. I have been watching it throughout the whole interview. It's very cool. Glad you like it. Laserbox itself does three different types of pattern generation. You can do internal oscillators and do XY, which is something like we're doing here with control over position, rotation, and scaling. Here you've got a complex pattern that was generated by a computer and sampled by a toolbox. Lastly, you can process live input, so you can take your sound and put it on screen just like you would with an oscilloscope, which can sometimes look really cool. So one of the things that's amazing is I'm looking at the lasers up here, and the screen is representing that image very closely. I mean, that means I can edit at home without having to set the whole rig up. That's right, and you can get a taste of what Toolbox can do, what Laserbox can do without having to go buy the gear first. <sighs> Next, let me show you how you can modulate these patterns and how you can use audio to drive the laser. Okay. In this last demo, the sequence beat is going to drive the size of the laser image. Check it out. That was really fun to play along with and amazing to watch. Um, so we will do more specific videos about each thing, but it was amazing to see how all of this works together. Uh, thank you very much for coming.
Thanks very much for the opportunity. It was a blast. Uh, my name is Daniel Fisher. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any further questions about this, please feel free to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.